right. And we are loose. Leisurely, leisurely late start today. Like 11 a.m. Yeah, 11. Fine. Have the, uh, <laughs> right, as the, right as some sunshine comes through, I have the, uh, the general, this is hilarious, uh, I have the, the all clear, you can tell by looking around that the uh, answer box weather is predicting overcast today. <laughs> this is hilarious, and the sun comes out right as I pull out. Uh, okay, we'll see how that goes. But it's uh, it's about three, four hours of seat time onto the big tourist superplex of CM Rip, which is where Angkor Wat is. The first pretty major milestone, you know, it's a real, uh, real marker, like I made it halfway across the country, that's definitely something. Doing lots of waving out here, you're not seeing. But uh, anyway, I gotta think like a farmer out here, kind of, sort of. I'm realizing that I've got to, uh, I never had a, I've, I've, back up, Craig. I've been an indoor cat my whole life, and I had to come out here to notice that, which is pretty wild. Like, I got to really think and plan as best I can around the, the weather. Is the sun going to be shining? Is it going to rain? What times and when? Where am I going to be? It's, uh... It's this day! It's this day, it's this day. And, uh, that's... That's new. That's new for me, for sure. But today is going to go well, I think. Uh, there's all kinds of rain and stormy storminess in the uh, forecast for today, which is good. That's encouraging. Getting rained on means you're not getting sunned on. Also means you're getting cooled off a little bit. I got my bottles all tanked up. So I can drink up or just pour it on myself in various places. Fantastic. Hello. I think uh, traffic is going to get ever more busy. Hello! Closer I get over there. Everyone's going to and from CN Rip now. You think I'd be well rested, but I'm not. I had a big party last night, uh, calling people on the phone and staying up with YouTubes and other stupidry. It was fun, though. I'm going to stop in San Marino for a good while. I don't know, maybe a week. Shoot. It's time to, there's a lot of things I want to check out there. Some bikey things I want to look for. I know, I know. It never ends. Some places I want to check out. Some co-working places. Some creative spaces. Man. And all kinds of stuff like that. Go to church once or twice. That kind of thing. So that's going to be good. That's going to be good. And, uh, and of course, spend a good two, three days noodling about the great Angkor Wat. How could I miss it? How could I forget Angkor Wat? Forget it. Craig's off-leash guide to Angkor Wat. Perfect. Hey, uh, hello. Hello.
Hi. Hi. Oh man. These kids are cute out here. At least most of them. Despite all this poor looking stuff around us, they seem to they seem to operate, they, they seem to exist within a kind of security that uh, gives them a lot of confidence to play with their friends and meet strangers and all that kind of stuff. Okay, you hear that? I think, I think someone died. I think that's what that is. Not sure. Keep your eyes open. In some of these houses, there will be hanging from like a light pole or a tree. There will be a uh, it looks like a like a kite, like a white colored kite that I, I think has something to do with representing a ghost or a, I don't know, but it correlates with me hearing the amplified chant music coming from the direction of said house. So I have to ask about that. See how close I am. Finally, I start getting to places, I think you're, yeah, you can pick them out on camera, can't you? Where uh, the, the road, little, little spots in the road that's not lined with settlement or stores or whatever, but where you can actually see see the actual farmland. I guess this is a time of year when they're not, well, they're at some stage where it's all brown-like. Surely this all becomes during rainy season. Yeah, that's it. It must be in rainy season where this all comes alive in green like you've seen on the postcards and in the movies. You can see the, the ditches and the berms and all this stuff that must correspond with uh, you know, water management and, and sectioning and inheritances, I don't know. I bet it's all mixed up. Oh yeah, by the way, the big Cambodian The big Cambodian New Year is coming up in uh, about, ten, what, like 10 days. The big New Year holiday. I should make a point of being out of Siem Reap by then, because that's when everyone goes crazy and goes everywhere they want to go. Fine. But I bet there's some kind of correlation going on between the amplified Buddhist-esque uh, projections I've been hearing lately in that. Kind of like when you see inflated snowmen in people's yards, it's getting close to Christmas, right? Kind of like that. It's the last night. Besides the food and knowing what to eat, most of the challenge seems to have drained out or been cleansed out of bike travel in Cambodia, at least along this highway. I remember Ray the Australian, he rode here and he was in the dirt a lot. And not long before then, I don't, this wasn't even paved. I'm talking like 2000s, man. And uh, 
I think that helps explain why there are so many cities and so many settlements along it, because the average speed of travel was so slow. I bet now that we have this pavement here, which is just a few years old, uh, a lot of the smaller places are probably going to dry up and things will start urbanizing quite naturally, uh, along with, which is something that just happens along with uh, ease of travel. That network effect, you know, Metcalfe's law, you want to be with the biggest pack that you can. Yeah. Mm hmm. And there's the classical Cambodian landscape. There you go. You got your rice fields, you got your two cows, and those uh, poofy pom pom palm trees, I guess? Right, where they get the coconuts from. Right, of course. Yeah. Ah, uh, great, a little scare of sunshine, I think, is, is over, and I'm just smooth sailing the rest of the way. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's about it. Wrong again, genius. Do you feel in charge? Do you think your precious answer box, your box full of answers, gives you power here? And so, fine. Found myself a stand with coconuts. Check. Water. Check. Flat surfaces, mostly free of trash. Check. Comfy chairs. Check. Okay. I guess I'm uh, sticking around. Hey, good news though. Good news though. It was uh, about an hour and a half ago I came upon my first also Fang foreigner biker. He was coming the other way. His name was Jean-Marie Monsieur Franchi. And Jean-Marie Monsieur Franchi, uh, we talked a while. He gave me a nice hookup uh, for a place in, in Sam Rip. Cheap, nice place to stay that's full of bike people. Great. And uh, Jean-Marie Monsieur Franchi, this dude been around. This guy started in uh, Guangzhou, China, which is that piece of China that's just opposite of Hong Kong. I mean, I've heard of Hong, I've heard of Guangzhou, and I've heard of Shenzhen. I'm not sure I understand the, the relationship. I'll have to check later. We started there, man. That boy came all the way down through Vietnam to the bottom of Vietnam, and then he did this big 180 up Vietnam again, up into northeastern Thailand, and then like back down, and now he's in his final home stretch, last two days, two days, from here all the way up back to Phnom Penh, and I'm like, dude, this guy's been on the road for a while too, you can tell, my man, but he was nice, and uh, we're WhatsApp buddies now. Monsieur Jean-Marie, Monsieur Franchi, and I'm going to ask him some questions, no doubt, especially when I get to China. Yep, yep. Excellent. So, I'm waiting for Answerbox Weather to update its predictions, you know, for this region. And we'll see how long the sun can be expected. I'm just going to wait this one out too, man. I'm not messing around anymore. I've had it. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>
my guys. All right. All right. Mr. Cloud passes between me and Mr. Sun. Got a lot of cloud to go. It's the cooling hour, 3 p.m. This retarded kid at the stand is getting on my damn nerves. There he is. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, so uh, sun came out again. I say to myself, I'm not doing this. There it is. Nope. Oh, look at this. Another Tila station. Great. And I think I uh, accidentally found some real Cambodia out here. Here we go. Here we go. I think fallow for now, rice field, I think. Water reservoir. All these, it's weird, these Tila stations, and it's like a lot of businesses, they're like businesses, but also homes, there's kids around, there's all kinds of people. Uh, interesting facilities and like showrooms for furniture, like you don't even, you don't know what it's going to be. And then... Check this out. We have amongst the propane here, we've got chickens. Hello, chickens. And over here, over here, we have. Oh, do they get away? Ah, yes. We have we have beer bottles, and we also have. Geese! Look at this! Oh yeah, look at these! Look at these! Are they are they ducks? Are they geese? I'm not sure, but here they are. Coming to work. Look at that. They're all looking in a similar direction. What are they? What do they know? What are they? And then there's these there's these guys over here too. Far out, right? So these are, these have got to be geese, but then there's ducks over there. I don't know if they come out on paper, on, on picture very well, but there's also what looked to me like ducks. So we got the ducks, we got the geese, we got all this farm out there. Oh, wow. And the, the tree wind breaks and everything. Really something, right? Some kind of a vegetable vine operation and then over here like some seriously sized like institutional bathrooms with like don't you wish you could read Kamai right yeah a whole stable of flip-flops like what what what, what, what is <sighs> don't know. Don't understand it. So, oh yeah, and there's <laughs> there's Coca-Cola lady who we can remember from the from the rest stop earlier. All right, Tila Station, you're full of surprises. And I made it. Yep. This is, uh, here I am at the lovely Green Park Village guest house. Now, Green Park Village, it's not, <laughs> I mean, I had a picture in my head of Green Park Village. It's not like that. It's a, it's a, it's a place here in, uh, here in town along the Highway 6. A far more built up and busy place than I remember Sam Rip from just five years ago when I was last here. But, fine. 
<clears throat> anyway, 15 bucks a day with free breakfast and air conditioning. And what the hell else do you want? This was the place recommended to me by Jean-Marie Monsieur Franchi. And uh, I'm very happy that he did because I, I didn't film it, guys. But that, that last few miles into town when the, the traffic is getting like, really intense all of a sudden, like, wow. And then Highway 6 becomes a big, uh, a big, a big city thoroughfare with just hundreds and hundreds of businesses and companies and stuff and people and blah, 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 blah. And uh, so they even have a place I knew about that I knew where it was. And that, with only a little bit of coaxing and controlling and smiling and please, please, pleasing, allowed me to bring the bicycle inside. Thank you very much for that. Because I had to work on some bottom bracket parts to uh, make it all nicey, nicey, nice. And I did. And I could. Because it was all right in here in air conditioned comfort. Great. So I was actually spending the last two or three days running around doing this, this, this bike mission. And I'm about to go uh, run down and give some beers to the fellows at the last bike shop I went to who actually showed me. They, they didn't realize they were doing so, but they were showing me how to fix it with the tools I had. And thank you. All right, so I'm going to do some videos today, some typey, typey, typey stuff. I'm just staying inside and then because uh, it's Sunday. And then tomorrow I'll start to venture back out again, uh, maybe to the Encore. Oh, yeah, there's a co-working space I want to visit, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm going there. I I'm in no rush to leave. I get no way. I am in a rush to leave because the, the Cambodian New Year is coming up pretty soon. Uh, and that's when all the hotels are going to start book uh, booking up and everything. So I kind of have to get going anyway. But it's not like it has to be today. They keep taking my $15, and they keep letting me stay, and they keep making me free breakfast. So there you go. All right. Catch you later. Bye-bye.